what hey stinkies um this is my five and a half year fitness transformation that i just kind of want to tell you guys about my personal journey um, and if any of you guys resonate with the things that i've gone through and the struggles that i have or you just need advice on maybe what the next steps to take maybe this can help you guys out so i started my fitness journey when i was 17. now just a little bit of backstory i have always felt like the bigger friend um i have been five seven since i was 11 and that is a shitty feeling you know like all my other friends were petite i lived in hawaii so i was just always the bigger friend like my thighs were always larger my arms were always thicker my waist just wasn't really that thin um and that really affected me growing up and my self-image and my self-worth and it fucking sucked so i remember the turning point for me was like i was in high school and like my crush Right, he was like, I don't know why we were talking about thigh gaps, but he was just like, oh yeah, like I worked super hard for my thigh gap, and I don't, I've never, like, look at this, I have never had a thigh gap in my life, like ever, okay? I'm a beefy bitch, it's just never happened. That situation made me feel like ass. It caused me to just have a really, really unhealthy relationship with my body and my self-image. Fast forward to when I was 17, I started working at Chick-fil-A. I had moved from Hawaii to Virginia and they don't have Chick-fil-A's in Hawaii, which is why when I had it, I knew I needed to have it every single day, which is exactly what I did. And so I ended up gaining around 40 to 50 pounds and so I went from 150 my freshman year to being almost 200 pounds close to 200 pounds my um, junior year of high school uh, my turning point for me when I decided that I was going to change everything was one I got fired from Chick-fil-a uh, for not showing up to work sorry and then two I didn't make it to the states for track and field uh, my junior year and that was embarrassing and so after school I had started running a mile every single day and doing like 15 to 30 minutes of hit um, and that shit worked like also I was eating like 800 calories, but it worked like I lost you know the 40 50 pounds and got back down to that initial weight, but The issue with that is that that wasn't sustainable for me So fast forward into me going into college and I gained the freshman 30 Okay, it wasn't 15 for me. It was 30 if you know anything about college the whole buffet style that they do like it It got me like I was in there enjoying myself even though the food wasn't even that good I was eating just to eat and so that really affected my mental health because now I'm like, damn, like all this work that I did, like I'm, I'm sitting there trying to be cute and and be curvy and be thin. And that just like for me, like I wasn't where I wanted to be. I soon met my best friend and we both decided that we were going to change our bodies and we were going to start meal prepping and really take the gym serious. And we went to the gym six days a week and we did the saran wrap in the fucking uh, in the sauna and we prepped all of our food. We did that every week and it worked for a really really decent amount of time but again it was just too much at one time and we did not or at least for me personally i did not stay consistent with it um, fast forward a couple months after that so i was going on a cruise with my family i was going on a cruise with my family and i didn't like my body so i was like okay well i'm gonna try a water fast awful idea awful awful idea and i'll show you guys like kind of the results so now it did work but like i literally felt like the worst piece of shit to ever exist and it was because i had no energy because i was only fucking drinking water and i was trying to do these quick fixes that don't fucking work because they're quick fixes it worked like temporary and then as soon as i like put a piece of bread in my stomach like i was like back to normal fast forward to my freshman year of college i was kind of back at the same point that i had got that i had gotten in my my first semester of college so I was about at like 180 and I had huge titties and I'm going to insert a photo right here and you can just tell that I've kind of gained weight all the way around again. And so, of course, like it's summertime. I'm like, I'm really going to be on top of my shit. Like I'm going to meal prep. I'm going to go to the gym. And I did. And I saw results. I started to realize that the physique that I had wasn't necessarily, um, it didn't give me the ass that I wanted. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to fucking bulk. All right, I'm going to do my first bulk in my sophomore year of first semester and that was like the worst piece of shit I've ever did. Like I was, I felt like I was stuffing myself with so much food. I had never eaten that much at one time. I was severely bloated and that was because of the type of food I was eating. It just wasn't good for my digestion. 
I moved up to 168 pounds and I fucking hated my physique. Um, I carried a lot of the weight in my face and I didn't carry it in my ass like I thought I was, okay? So that was like a fucking waste of time and I hated my body. So fast forward, okay? We get past winter break, it's spring break time, okay? So now it's grind time. I'm in that bitch, me and my best friend are doing everything and above the sun to lose fat as fast as possible, being super consistent in the gym. And also, mind you, at this time as well, I'm starting to gain more and more knowledge about you know health and wellness and fitness, and that's because my major in college was kinesiology, and I had just started to begin to get into my major classes. And so that knowledge really, really helped me fine point and fine tune where I wanted my body to go. So I fucking, I looked great. Like, I'm into this fuck photo. My body leaned the fuck out. I mean, like, I looked amazing. Um, okay, and I thought I had, like, the perfect dream physique, okay? But I did it, of course, because as soon as I got home, like, my ass was eating everything and above the sun. I was like, okay, like, I'm just gonna work out, but I'm just gonna kinda eat whatever I want because, like, I'm skinny now, so it doesn't matter. Wrong. They got me. Wrong. Hate to see it. Then COVID happened and that was 2020 and now everyone is home and obviously a lot of a lot of that really affected my mental health and I hated being home. Like I just wanted to get out the house, whether that was to get fast food or whatever, whatever. And I ended up again gaining that weight back. Fast forward a month or two later, I had decided that I wanted to start posting on TikTok, which I ended up not doing. Okay, I made a couple TikTok videos. I might insert them in here, but they were trash. I'm just showing like at home workouts and trying to be physical. And I decided that I also wanted to get really good at running. And so I challenged myself to run a certain amount of miles, you know, every single day. And I did that. And I did that for a really long time. And I, again, started to lean out. I started to really clean up my nutrition. And my body started to, to get exactly where I wanted it to be. And once the gym started opening back up, like that's when I really started to see a lot of changes in my musculature. Now we fast forward into the end of 2020 and I've decided that in 2021, like I'm really gonna start, you know, documenting more what I'm doing, like taking more before and after pictures, which is something that I regret not doing. And if you're personally on a fitness journey, I highly recommend that you do. As you can probably see, I don't really have a lot of, um, like glutes, you know, like I have wide hips and it's clear that I have definition, but I didn't really have the density in my butt like I really wanted or the toneness in my upper body. I ended up getting pretty skinny um, up before my birthday and I like love that physique. Like I thought it was perfect. Like I was like, oh yeah, like I'm finally here. Like I finally made it, this, this, this and that. Um, until this random i went to miami for my birthday which again like i love my physique i thought it was perfect like i was the perfect amount of skinny that i wanted to be and someone had took a picture of me from the back and they showed me my butt okay and i didn't know that i had anything to be depressed about <laughs> until i fucking saw that picture it had me sick okay because i mean i was giving pancake and uh it was that moment when i was like okay like i need to change something because this is just not where I want to be like I want a fat ass like I went to fucking Hampton University where I'm surrounded by all these beautiful black women who have these fucking dump trucks and I just didn't have one and I'm in my senior year of college now so I was like okay like I'm really gonna be on top of it like I'm gonna do this this and that with my nutrition and blah 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 and again I started to lean out again I wore these like BFR bands for like a really long time for like two years because like I was really insecure about my butt and yes they do have benefits but um, I just I wouldn't personally recommend them um, because the only real reason I was wearing them was because I wanted my butt to look better. Again, cut down, really like my physique, my butt, my glutes really started to grow and that is because I focused on my form when it came to my lower body exercises and I really started to see results with that. Um, but then I got COVID and I had some other health issues that I'm not going to talk about on here because it is personal. Um, and it ended up just setting me back where I wanted to be. And then I also had like some knee issues, um, where I had to go get physical therapy for, um, that made it really difficult for me to do a lot of movements. And I had to really stop, you know, doing specific exercises like squats and lunges. And I felt like that shit was really holding me back and it just sucked to kind of deal with that and not really know when you know 
when you're gonna feel healthy again. Now we are around mid-January. This is my last semester of college and I'm just like, okay, like I'm really about to, you know, go, go all in again, which is again, like you're gonna go through constant cycles where you're just gonna be like, I'm gonna go again. I'm gonna go hard in the pain. I'm gonna be consistent. And then like you're inconsistent. So hear me out though, okay? I had recently started seeing all of these TikToks about people taking creatine and it growing them the fattest ass that they've ever seen before. And also about the importance of training hard and eating enough. Um, and so I decided to take the leap. I bought the creatine, I freaking increased my calories to around 2700 and that was the most calories I've ever eaten before. And I also started training closer to failure. I did those three things and I fucking blew up and not in the way that I wanted to blow up. I didn't like my physique, I didn't like the way that I looked in dresses, I didn't feel like I was really feminine anymore but I just kept pushing through and I was like well let me just stay consistent with this, like I need to give my body time and I am so grateful that I did that because I started to lean out significantly on those same calories. Now, you know, I graduated college, I moved to Florida, and then I decided that once I'd gotten really lean, I was like, okay, well, I wanna put on more muscle again, so I wanna go in a bulk, okay? So now instead of eating 2,700 calories, I started eating 3,100 calories, and I got fucking thick, I mean, as expected. Like, and at first it was, you know, it's fun, but, you don't realize that you're at your dream physique until you no longer are at your dream physique. It is difficult going from eating 3,000 calories and then trying to go into a cut um, because you have a 3,000 calorie fucking hunger sensation. Like I was hungry all the time, like I could eat all the time, like it wasn't a problem for me to get my 3,000 calories, 3,100 calories in, like I was ready to eat. And I was still training really hard. I was still being consistent with working out. I never ever stopped working out in that process. But again, it was difficult for me to shed the fat because I didn't have any self-control when it came to food now where I'm at right now is that I have started my cut initially I did a great job okay I was like three weeks into my cut and I was fucking loving my physique so now where I'm at today is I'm really honing in again on my nutrition and and holding myself accountable for them but where I can do better at because again like I want to be a better person not just like when it comes to my body but also when it comes to my mental strength and my discipline I, you know, there's nothing wrong with my physique now. I know exactly where I want to go and I know exactly how to get there. And it's just about being consistent and patient because this process is going to take a really long time. It does, and I'm sorry. Again, like I have been working out for, you know, five to six years. And I only a couple months ago that I really see the changes that I wanted to make, that I really see the glute growth that I wanted. So. I don't know, I'll probably have to make another one of these because again, this was my first YouTube video. So I'm probably doing a lot of rambling and like the timeline probably is all fucked up. If you guys have any questions um, about your journey or if you wanna know any extra information that I missed out, just drop a comment below and I'll make sure to respond to all of them. Um, Cause this isn't easy and having a support system and and having a community of other women who feel like they're going through this is, is important. So I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <gasps>